Yeah, boy, there we go. Oh, no, nah, not happy. Not happy. <laughs> Morena guys, it's uh, my favourite day of the week, Saturday morning and I'm up in the Coromandel today, uh, up here for the weekend and the goal for this mission is haku or kingfish so uh, the plan originally was actually to go out and do some live baiting today but I'm having real trouble getting onto some live baits I found some tiny jack maps but I want something a little bigger than that so if I can't find any live baits by the time I get out to the spot then I'll do a bit of jigging and stick baiting instead so I'll probably do that for the first half of the day and then after that well, I've obviously got the dive gear here with me and uh, gonna jump in. I quite like to shoot a kingy today, I'll probably do all catch and release this morning and then shoot one this afternoon if I can and uh, obviously have a look around for some kodo as well. And yeah that's the plan for today, let's get stuck into it. Alright, I think we might have found ourselves some live bait, there's lots of birds working here and I planted the sabiki in it. So hopefully we've got ourselves a nice jack mac, but we'll find out. Oh, even better than a jack mac, a big koi. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. I think that's the first, uh, or maybe it's just a big jack mac actually, I'm not sure. Oh no, I think that's a koi. Yeah, it's the first koei I've caught on the kayak. Yeah, it is a koei. Oh, that is a mean live bait. That's going to be perfect. Get down the live bait torpedo. Back out there. Chuck us down, hopefully we can get another one. There we go, just like that. <laughs> Epic. Uh, this time we've got ourselves some Jack Max. I think I've got a nice big koei or maybe a string of Jack Max on the end here now. Oh yes, really big Jack Max. Man, another excellent live bait, look at that. Beautiful size Jack Mac. Or maybe that's another Koei, yeah, it's another Koei. Wow. Really blessed with the live baits that are out here today. Man, that's a perfect size one. It's gonna make mean kingfish candy. Right, so I just got myself another one of these Koei and I figured I may as well chuck one of these out while I'm catching more live baits. So, this is the rig I'm using, 50 pound, no 60 pound sorry, leader onto a 7 bar row, or maybe it's an 8 bar row, own a live bait hook. And then what I'm going to do is just chuck this through the nose of the koei. Yes, so, looks like that. And then for now, what I'm going to do is just chuck this on the surface behind the kayak as I'm paddling around catching more live bait. Pretty good setup for kingfish if you ask me. Nice big live bait. Beautiful day and lots of bait working around us. I'm feeling good about today. Check this out. How's this for a live bait? Wow, that is a beautiful koei. Man, I'm stoked as of that. That's gotta catch me a kingfish, surely got two in the in the torpedo now and one out the back and now I'll chuck this one on my other rod and then start heading out to uh, heading out to the spot
Right, well, we're hooked up. Feels like a pretty decent kingy. Fortunately, my other rod's out the back still. It's causing a bit of mayhem there, but it's all good. We're on. Oh, bust off. Oh, gutted. That was a good fish. Oh, no. What happened there? Oh, my braid snapped. Oh, damn. There must have been a nick somewhere along my braid. Oh, gutted. Super gutted. That was a really good kingy. All right, we're hooked up again. Yeah, boy, there we go. All right, we just got to pray that the uh, there's no nicks in this line. I doubt there would be, but you never know. Oh, this kingy's coming right up. Maybe it's a kahawai. Who knows? No, nah, that's no kahawai. This kingy is definitely not as big as that last one, that's for sure. Stoked to be hooked up though, finally. It's been ages since I've been hooked into a good king. He's taking me for the rocks over here and we're already in pretty shallow water, 17 meters, so I'm gonna have to get this one up. a bit of weight to it actually still haven't got any color it's about 10 meters below the kayak i think here it comes oh yeah nice kingy There we go. Got the leader. There it is. That's not a bad fish. That's a nice fish. Perfectly hooked in the corner of the mouth. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! There we go. Epic. What a stunning kingfish. I'd say it's probably around that 10 to 12 kilo mark. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Stoked. Alrighty, I got a nice little photo of this guy. And now we're gonna put it back, set him on his way. Out comes that hook, corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Makes for an easy release. There we go, back in the water. And there we go. Away he goes. Another beautiful kingfish release. Might have one more drift, see if I can get another one, and then jump in the water.
Well guys, I've done a few hours of diving now and a uh, pretty good result. Managed to get two really nice coda and uh, even managed to get a nice kingy too. So really happy about that. Um, I've got a probably hour or so left of daylight. So I've got these two uh, coeys left. So I may as well uh, do a bit more live baiting and then I'm going to head in. So I'll either see you with a fish on or I'll see you in the morning. Right, something's having a go at the live bait and it's almost dark the sun's setting forgot how early the sun sets these days there we go we're on oh i think it's spat it out yeah it's spat it out oh no there we go there we go we're on Literally right at the end of the day as well. This kingy's not really putting up much of a fight. Ah, and that's why it's not a kingy, it's a big bronzy. Well, not a massive one. It's a little bronzy. Oh. There we go. Now he realised what's going on. He's not happy about that. <laughs> Almost had his head in the kayak. Get my wires in case I can get this hook back. Otherwise I might have to cut him off. Damn, I thought I had a nice kingy on. Oh, there goes my sinkers. <laughs> pretty certain it's hooked in the corner of the mouth as well, so it's probably not going to bite through the leader. Here it comes. Oh, he's not happy. Not happy at all. It's not a tiny bronzy either. I might have to uh, say farewell to this hook, I think. Here he is. <laughs> It's good to know my uh, knot strength's pretty good. <laughs> Wish I could just get this thing up though and cut this hook off. Come on, come on. Here it is, okay, come on. Oh, no, nah, not happy, not happy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna cut it off, I think. Yeah, he's hooked in the corner of the mouth. Ugh. Which is why it's not biting through the line. Ah, oh, poor fella's been hooked in the uh, eye there. And there he goes. Wow, that's a big fish. Really big fish. Oh, that's a disappointing way to end the day, but... Oh, well, that's uh, kingfish fishing for you. You get one of those fellas every now and then. And uh, that's all part of it. But anyway, sun's about to set now. And uh, I'm going to head in. Probably do the same thing again in the morning. Hopefully without the sharks this time. Pretty keen to get back out here tomorrow and do a bit more live baiting and see if I can get a kingy. So, see you guys then. Wow, 
Well, good morning, guys. It's day two out here on this trip and uh, out at the same spot as yesterday. And it wasn't looking too great to start with. All the uh, birds and fish that were working yesterday aren't here anymore. So originally I was just casting around some stick baits and then went over a bit of sign and this little koei might be our saving grace today. <laughs> Managed to get one live bait. I might have a um, little look around for some more, see if there's any more around here. Otherwise I'll take this little guy out wide and see if he can pull up a kingfish for us. Well, a bit of excitement. I've um, I decided I may as well cast a soft bait around while I'm out here. I've hooked up something, but more importantly, <laughs> there's some whales just to my right here. <laughs> and I don't know if they're gonna get anywhere near me, but it's pretty exciting. It's either whales or dolphins, but those are pretty big, uh, pretty big blows of air. So probably whales, my guess. And let's see what we've got in this line anyway. Oh, yep, no surprise. Beautiful snapper. Oh, great. It's just let out its air, so this one will be going back. There we go, look at that. Beautiful snapper to start the morning. And uh, all catch and release today, I think. So this one's going back. All right, we're on. Man, that was a huge take. <laughs> oh, that was a massive take. There we go. It's otherwise been really quiet this morning, so nice to finally have something on. Doesn't feel massive, but it feels pretty decent. Oh yeah, there's a big school of them under the kayak now. Oh, there's hundreds of kingies down there. Hopefully you guys can see this. There's so many of them down there. Big schools. They're following up the uh, one that I've hooked. Here it comes. Yeah, it's not massive. Nice fish though. Oh, you've seen the kayak. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a little kingy actually. Much smaller than the ones I saw yesterday. Still, nice to be hooked up to uh, one of these guys, even if it is just a little one. Man, he hit that uh, live bait super hard for his size. This guy's going back, as I said, not really keeping anything today, so put that guy back down there. Now that I don't have a uh, live bait, I might have to resort to jigging and looks like there's no shortage of kingies down there, big schools of them, so see if we can pull out one of the bigger ones. Alright, so I just pulled up to a workup and um, not really a whole lot going on, there were a few fish jumping but didn't look like there was a whole lot going on but as soon as I saw a bit of sign on the sounder and literally not much sign at all, just like a few dots. Um, I thought I'd just chuck a uh, 
chuck this jig down, which I just rigged up into it, and yeah, managed to hook up. Not sure what it's going to be actually. Could be a snapper or kingy, but we'll find out in a second. Probably going to be a rat kingy, if anything. Yeah, it's a kingy. Even smaller model than the last. Really little guy. Get the hook out. Send him on his way. Right, so that sign's back on the sounder, sitting between 20 and 40 meters. So have a little jig through that. See if anything will take it. Yep, there we go. Oh, that was a hit. Obviously some big schools of them around. Hopefully there's a big one or two among those uh, little rats. I'm sure there will be. It's just be a matter of uh, pushing through the rats until we can uh, get one of those big ones. But we'll see how we go. It's feeling like another rat. <laughs> yeah, another rat. Really little kingies, these ones. And there we go, on his way. It's a pretty big jig for a fish that size to be taking, but kingfish often will hit a uh, fish or a jig much bigger than their size, so they definitely punch bigger than their weight. Okay, so I'm just starting to uh, make my way back in, but I figured since there were some birds and fish working here, I may as well grab myself another live bait and uh, tow that behind me on the way in. And I think I've got one. Hopefully it's another big koi. I think it is. But we'll find out in a second. Yes, yeah, it is. Another beautiful koi. Man, these are some great live baits. Get this guy straight into the live bait torpedo and get him out the back. Looks like the skull's still under me. Might be hard to see, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're back on. Might be hard to see, but there's um on the sounder there that big dark patch. That's just bait sitting underneath the kayak. Yeah, that's going to be another koi. <laughs> These fish actually fight quite similar to tuna from my experience. It's quite interesting. Oh no, he's tangling up in my uh, live bait torpedo. Oh no, get him off in there. Another excellent live bait. 
I think we can get that one straight out there. So I've been paddling around for about half an hour now, but no takers for Mr. Koi out the back there. But what a weekend this has been targeting the old haku. First getting that, uh, well, first getting bust off by that really nice one out the back. I'm still pretty dark about that. I um, I pulled the line off the reel afterwards and it was done up really tight. So it must have been a pretty decent fish. Um, but yeah, and then landing a nice one after that. And then obviously getting in the water and getting one on the gun. And now getting back out here today and targeting and catching a few more of them it's just been a great weekend up here this time of year there tends to still be a few kingies around and not many people out here targeting them so always nice to make the most of these opportunities when they're there um, but yeah that's going to wrap it up for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it as always and i'll see you on the next one cheers